today a journey in some unfamiliar territory pixel book yeah this is the $1,000 Chromebook from Google my daily driver is a MacBook because I like Final Cut Pro I love my surface devices surface 3 I use it every day I've used surface book I've used surface pro you name it I've used it I'm gonna see if a Mac guy and a Windows guy can survive with the Pixelbook. And thanks to the good folks at Moshi, I've got dongles and a hub to help me survive this. So I'll get the Pixelbook out, show it to you, let you see what it's like, and then I guess I'll report back to you on YouTube and on the Reset Podcast, and we'll see how I survive. Let's get into this. All right, so let's get the MacBook out of the way. Like I said, I have used it all, folks. I have used it all. And I am I am genuinely excited to try out this Pixelbook. This box is a fantastic looking. This is the Core i5 series. Let's see, let me read it to you. Seventh generation i5 processor, eight gigs of RAM, 128 gig solid state SSD drive. So let's get it open. Let's see if I can, uh... the funny thing is, is as much as I use Windows and uh, Mac OS, I am a lot all in with Google. I am on Project 5. I have a Pixel. I used to have a Pixel XL. That's a long story. And I use... I use a lot of the Google products. I really do. Nice. Man, this packaging is out of sight. I have used a Pixelbook before. Not a, I mean, not a Pixelbook. I've used a Chromebook before. Let's get started. A little info pack here. And it was years ago. Here is the charging brick. It was, you know, it was way underpowered. There was no storage on it. I, you know, it was years ago. I couldn't do anything with it. This is a nice power brick. Holy smokes. I can see where your money's going on these products. Cause man, this is nice. Nice, nice, nice. This reminds me of Eero. When you get out the Eero access points, the uh, Cat5 cables wrap like this. That's kind of funny. So USB-C to USB-C for charging. And here's the Pixel Book. It has a tab to pull it up. And we are done with packaging, which is really nice. So we got to get this out. I like to save this part. Try not to tear it up. I don't have to make this too painfully slow for you guys. So I mean this is this is the premier Chromebook if you are if you are into the Chromebook. There it is. So USB C on that side, USB C audio out on this side. Wow, is this thing thin? And it feels nice. This is like this is like the dark side, I feel like, right? Alright, this feels like glass and it's I've clicked it very easily. That's really nice. Doesn't click up here. I think I'm gonna like that. This has a the rubbery feeling. I've seen some the reviews. I am interested in trying apps. I don't know if you've stayed up on the the Chromebooks lately about running app, uh, Android apps on the actual hardware itself. So. That's going to differentiate this between the other platforms. Now, this also has a touch screen. And you can go in tablet mode, tent mode, all that kind of good stuff. All right. I mean, I've showed you the hardware. I'm going to cut this short and charge it, use it, and then I'm going to talk about it a lot. I'm going to. I'll try to feedback here on YouTube and 
uh, on the Reset Podcast. So go to Reset.fm. We'll talk about this on the podcast. So I appreciate you tuning in. I know that was short and sweet, but I want to get busy. This is nice. All right. See you all later. Jeremy.